Still Collins ahead to Mangini. He'll chip it in. And the buzzer's going to sound. And the Fargo Force are going to win this one tonight by a score of 7-1. to one And win their first Anderson Cup championship as the regular season top team in the USHL for the first time in their existence. The Fargo Force are your Anderson Cup champions. We'll take a two-minute break. We'll run down the scoring on this one, go through our three stars of the game, and we'll wrap things up from Shields Arena. The Anderson Cup champs, the Fargo Force, they win it tonight 7-1. We're back in two minutes on 101.9 Jack FM. Fargo Force have officially set a franchise win record with 39 wins in a single season. And a franchise point record with But you know, Forest Nation, okay. that's not all. With tonight's win, your Fargo Force have officially clinched the Anderson Cup for the first time in team history. Historic night here at Shields Arena as the Fargo Force beat Sioux Falls by a score of 7-1. to one. And by doing so, they've done a number of things that they've never done before. A franchise best 39 victories in a single season with one more game yet to play. In a few minutes, they are going to be presented with the Anderson Cup that signifies the regular season champions of the USHL for the first time in franchise history. And their head coach, Nick Oliver, now owns the best single season win record as a coach, both inaugural and all time with the 39th victory behind the bench tonight for the Fargo Force. So a wonderful, Historic night here at Shields Arena, and it's not done yet. The Force have one more regular season game to play, and then they will commence with the Clark Cup playoffs. They get a first round bye, and then they will take part in the conference semifinals that will start a week from tonight here at Shields Arena against the winner of a first round game that is yet to be determined. The Force jumped on Sioux Falls late in the first period and never looked back. Brett Link tonight's number three star got things going at 17.01 with his 25th goal of the season by Cole Knubel and M Max Swanson. That was followed up 41 seconds later. Werner Mietnin 16th of the year from Jacob Napier and Zam Plant made it 2-0 and Geert Silkholms rounded out the scoring in that opening period with his ninth from Bazin Bozier and Owen Mellenbacher at 19.01 and the force go into the locker room with a 3-0 lead. They add to that in the second. Zam plants 12th from J.P. Turner and Boris Scalos at 14.42, made it 4-0. And then the force grouped together three goals in three minutes and nine seconds in the third as Max Swanson got his 12th of the season from Brett Link and Kyle Smolin at 121. And the force were in charge at that point. They wrap up the scoring as Anthony Mangini got a one-time goal. At 4.13 from Marion Mosco and Kyle Smolin. And then a penalty shot goal, the second in eight days for Brett Link. His 26th of the year at 4.30. And the Force win it by a score of 7-1. to Tyler Borgula got his third of the season at 17.26 for Sioux Falls to get them on the board and ruin Mate Marinoff's shutout bid. Assisted by Evan Murr and Kazimir Sobieski as the... Anderson Cup has just been awarded and Kyle Smolin, the captain, takes it over to his teammates and they celebrate with the Anderson Cup, the first time the Force have celebrated the regular season champions of the USHL. I mentioned Brett Link, the number three star of the game. He had a pair of goals tonight. Mate Marinoff, the number two star, kicked out 36 shots tonight, getting his first win in over a month. He now improves to 21-4 and two on the season and will improve on his league's second best 2.4 goals against average with the victory tonight. And the number one star tonight was given to the fans. 4,546 in attendance tonight and the force go over 100,000 attendance for the season.